and David Lindstead here. Thank you so much for joining me. So glad to have you. So I'll try and strike a balance uh, between interesting and uh, continuing to capture your attention. And yet we will put some math in here because this is, after all, about measuring preparedness. The research on business continuity uh, and how to measure it, how to, 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 what are the right things that are actually efficient and effective in a post-disaster environment. We live in a complicated, clear, complex, and chaotic world. Uh, we didn't see a slew of articles saying, thank goodness we had binders and documents, uh, some of which were left over from 2006 H5N1 pandemic flu planning. We know that it's the planning that matters, not the plan, and there are good reasons for that. This is a high-level view that sets the parameters for making decisions and taking actions. And the only way, and we've seen this time and time again in post-disaster situations, particularly uh, prolonged uh, disaster situations, employees have to be empowered to be able to take action and make decisions. They have to be able to take action and make decisions. But either way, they've got to care for the employees. Around 50% of employees are at risk of leaving in a post-disaster situation. And if they don't feel cared for, if they don't feel appreciated, it's going to require empowerment, creativity, innovation. It's going to involve certain capabilities, and we can grow and focus on those capabilities. What does the HR department do in general? following a disaster. She fills in names and telephone numbers and long lists of equipment and references to the standard operating procedures because that's how we're going to do what we normally do. Okay, so what? Is Department X ready to recover? And if you think maybe not because Frida's just filling in a document and the department's not working to create the capabilities that they need, they don't know what their objectives are, well, we can put some numbers to this and we can measure it. That sounds about right to me. When I think about Frida's department and the fact that Frida is just filling out some templates and they're not practicing, they're not talking, they're not preparing, they aren't empowered, that's what the delta between required preparedness and actual preparedness means. Sorry, count is absolutely not the right word. So we need to look at the locations, the people, and the things in terms of losses. Are we talking about the location is gone, like COVID-19, we really lost our locations for a long stretch of time. The more things I have to recover, uh, the fewer options I have. Now look, we could measure this. Absolutely possible to start taking measures of preparedness before a disaster, or if we had to, right after a disaster, and then measure the disaster impacts of the disaster and correlate the two.